I had somebody ask me the other day on a video what kind of phone mount I had. And I referred to them and told them, unfortunately, the phone mount you can't buy, the, especially the mounting plate, the stainless steel mounting plate. I made that. But the mount itself is a Peaks Design foam mount with phone case that snaps in. And then I put a 90 degree ram mount ball system on it. And this right here is an original ram mount that just bolted to the handlebar screws. And uh, I basically then designed this plate with two stainless steel balls and a stainless steel plate counterboard the screws and went through the same thing. You got longer screws for it, but you can buy this ram mount with one sticking off it. So you can still do the same system. And it'd probably be a lot easier too because uh, for any of those that don't know, the rubber coating on the ram balls is a required item to make these work proper with the aluminum clamps these for uh, these class cast aluminum clamps they make. Um, without it, you're not using it. It's not going to stay. So in order to make this work, because I went stainless steel on my balls, kind of board the screws on a drill press. That's some fancy work right there, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. But anyways, I had to dip the cast clamps in uh, that rubber dip that you can buy for tooling and stuff in a can so it would stay. So I had to re basically reverse the process of how it was designed. Instead of a uh, smooth metal clamp to a rubber ball, I went with a smooth metal ball to a rubber clamp. Works amazing. That damn thing does not move and does not rust. And also, I'm going to put one down here. I had it down here, but I moved my highway pegs forward, and therefore I had to get rid of the, bat or the ball mount I had, but I'm going to move it to the top. I'm going to drill and tap the bracket that holds the highway pegs on to accept a six millimeter bolt because that's what I use when I put these together not because I like metric but mainly because well down below here on the highway pegs that's all drilled tapped metric six millimeter so I used one of the existing holes at that time to mount that ball on it which means I had to use metric and it seems to work I like it this whole setup works great I don't do a whole lot of camera mounts on it because unfortunately it does work but it's a little close. I mean I've used it last year. But you can mount a lot of crap on there. I mean technically I could probably move this cup over here and have everything on one side which would seem weird but you could do it. There's other stuff you could probably mount there. I mean I probably don't need all of it but you know I keep it all so how will it. Someday I may change it. Right now I will not. And then another gentleman asked me on a video he watched in mine what my gloves were. That was a video from a while back. They're Denise. Denise? Denise? Dane Ezzy. X Strike gloves with the titanium knuckles. You can't buy them anymore. My Kaylee 7 turned me on to these. I gotta admit, when I first got them, they were really tight on the hand. But man, they have broken in lovely. I mean, before I couldn't hardly get it on my hand. It was like like OJ trying to put on that glove. Probably a nice big ill of the dead. But anyways, hurt like hell. Now, finally though, they stretch. These are probably the most comfortable gloves I own. And the fingertips are like perfect, except for the pinky. It's like, and even that's really close to being right on. They say fit my hand good. So good, in fact, I might get online and look for Danaze, Danaze. I don't know how you pronounce it. Danaze. <laughs> and see what other kind of gloves they make in this size. And maybe order a pair eventually that are maybe cooler for the summer. Because the ones I bought last year when I was at Mike's, a little bulky on the fingers. A little bulky. So I'm not too fond of that. If I get another pair of these and they're made the same, I would assume they would be because why wouldn't they make all their glove patterns the same if they're building them? Let's see if I can get something like that because then they fit the hand. It might be hurting for a while. It'll be tight, but you know, it'd be worth it in the end. Could do like they say they used to do in the military or I've heard people say it. They used to take their boots. I know these are gloves, but anyways, it should fit. They take and soak the red, soak the leather boot down, so it's drenched. You know, it's nice and white and pliable. And then they wear them, and let them dry, and now this is two things. One, I understand, it would be extremely painful because it's gonna hurt. But two, when you get done, you got a pair of boots that are basically perfectly formed to your foot. 
nevertheless, how painful that would be. I'm not, not looking to try that, but I'm, you know, I could have let the glove down and wear it, but it seems like wearing it throughout time did it. it's on its own. I'm going to be sad when these are no good no more. I love these damn things. It used to be one of the gloves I hated to wear, now I love them. The only problem they have is they're just not vented. Get hot weather, they, they toasty and they're black. So they, 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 they get hot. Hot, I tell you, they're hot. All right, well, I think I'm gonna cut this one off. I'm just gonna let it record till I get to the house. And then I'll shut her off when I get in the garage, unless it shuts off by itself. It's Friday night, baby. I love Fridays. Living for the weekend. I know they say you shouldn't if you want to be wealthy, but I don't care. I just want to be not poor. I know that came out of nowhere, didn't it? Hopefully the audio sounds alright. I have my uh, screen open on my helmet most of the time this last video. I think I had like three or four videos out of this right now. This is impressive. Just like, mm, well, the knowledge, man. Look at me go. Look at me go. There I go. Remember, this used to all be fields. Yep. Yep. Now it's all a bunch of fucking houses. <sighs> Maybe they haven't built houses in this one yet. I mean, why do we need farmers anymore? We can just make our food in laboratories, right? Yuck. Oh, sad day, sad day. They just got up building this house over here on the right. Looks pretty nice. A little behind this old rickety barn. I'm guessing somebody must have either owned the property or got the property. The other barn fell down. Yeah, it looks pretty nice little building here. Nice off, off the road far enough to be useful. Yup, yup. Forty-two thousand eight hundred seven miles on the clock. The odometer that is. This concrete stuff's been laying out here for weeks. I bet that stuff's heavier than hell after all the rain we've got. Probably why it's laying there. If I can't move it, it's too damn heavy. It's too damn heavy. Alright. Well. Nice and cool today. Yeah. Yeah, kinda of thankful when I went off for break it was quite sunny and hot. During that time it sprinkled and cooled down. Sun went away. Nice and cool. Yup, yup. Watch me, Moose's grin beneath.